Tim says, Vinny, what product do you use to spike up your hair in the front? If you run a comb through it once it dries, it will create even more volume. Leave it to Tim to ask a question like this. Well, the truth is I'm way overdue for a haircut. I usually get my haircut the like the first week of the month. And at this point, I'm so overdue. I was going to wait one more week and get it done the first month, first uh, week of May. So I just skipped April. Uh, I just have your... your, your Why don't you your... grow it out again? No. Who cares? You work at home. My wife. She don't like long hair? She don't like long hair. Oh, get out of here. And, uh, and it's not like a, you know, it's, I could grow my long hair if I wanted to, but there would be a price to be paid. And I don't want to pay that price. And besides, it's a pain in the ass. Short hair is much easier. Short hair is much easier. So, uh, there's nothing special. Just a little, uh, just a little, little bit of gel. And I just kind of, uh, it's very messy, right? messy today. I didn't put any thought into it at all. This person, pork chop hmm. here. Pork chop. If AW end up splitting the talent across two shows, will the talent see it as competing against each other to do the better show? And if so, is that a positive or a negative overall? You know, I don't see that happening because for the most part, most everybody in this company really likes each other. Yeah. This is not a, a big rivalry thing. I mean, you know, there's going there's going to be the the you know friends of CM Punk that will want to see that show do better, and there will be the friends of the elite that will want to see their show do better. But it's only because of those particular individuals. But in general, I mean, these friends are not going to want to beat other friends. And really, everybody knows that these shows both need to be successful. Yeah, they are not in the position of WWE where you know you can treat one as a B show or whatever. I mean, these shows need to be a success if they want good, strong television deals and all make more money. Not to mention, this is a whole roster for, for almost exclusively uh, full of the kind of guys who are going to show up and do, when they get TV time, are going to be very most, they get the very best out of it, make the very most best use of it that they can anyway. That's not going to change. They're just more of them will get TV time now, and that's good. Andrew says, should Mercedes Monet work the five-star Grand Prix? Sure, why not? I mean, the issue is, the issue is, this thing's got to be profitable. You know how much you're going to have to pay her to work a five-star Grand Prix? I mean, she's, she's working very few matches, and if you want her to work a lot of matches, you're going to have to pay her a lot more money. And uh, I don't think she's coming cheap, so... In theory, sure. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. I guess we'll see. How many matches in the Stardom Five Star Grand Prix? Grand Prix. I'd have to look at the thing. Okay. Let's see. I hate when I scroll and it just jumps all the way to the end there. Last year was four matches per competitor. Looks like so. Yeah, you can do that. Would you watch all five hours of the Stardom show before you review it with Tom? Well, it's five hours, so unlikely. I've watched the top two matches. I'm going to try and have all the title matches watched before I do the show with Dave, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through all of that. What's your favorite match to put on to get you out of a bad mood? No match. I get away from wrestling when I want to get out of a bad mood. Pretty much, yeah. I go walk in the woods. I go for a walk, go, go, go work out, take a nap, do anything. Yeah. <laughs> wrestling is what I do. I still like watching wrestling, but it is, it's our job. And, uh, get away from the job when you are uh, in a bad mood. Vinny looked awesome with long hair, says Sam. Why, thank you. Oh, get out of here, Sam. Kissing Vinny's ass. I'm thinking of growing mine out again. Uh, you've After I shaved it all always, the way off. You've always gone back and forth. You, yeah, you, it's you, time. You, you don't keep the same hairstyle for more than a month or two anyway. It's time. Of course, then summer's going to be here, and I'll shave it again. But The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Yeah. Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big think. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
for your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.